We knew that oh, we had been fighting social movements for many, many, many years, but we always found a sort of wall there, and so we decided to, to make this step to try to win the institutions for the people. And now that's a challenge we have. I mean, to see if you can, if you can change institutions uh, in order to protect the, the commons, to protect the common good, and that's what we are trying. They told us that it was impossible. Yes. But in, in eight months and with, with many difficulties, but we have shown that, that it was possible. It's great to have you, Gerardo, to be uh, the deputy mayor of uh, Barcelona. Um, and what are your hopes, in fact, for, for the launch of DM25 and, and how do you see your own role uh, coming from Barcelona in that? Movement. Well, the, the, the first thing I, I, I'd like to say is that we are the product of a, of a sort of democratic revolt that happened in, in, in Spain, in many cities of Spain last year, uh, because after years of corruption of bank and bank fraud, um, people voted for ordinary citizens, citizens with, with no link with the establishment, with financial powers, with the big media. And, and now these ordinary citizens are mayors, are deputy mayors of cities as Barcelona, Madrid, Coruña, Cadiz, and that's very important. In Barcelona, for instance, we have the first woman, uh, which is a mayor, and she comes from, she's a social activist, and she defended civil disobedience uh, and, and uh, to defend, to protect housing rights, and now she's the mayor. And that's a product of a democratic revolution. And so now we have to protect all these experiences, these local experiences, and that's why we need to change Europe. Because if we don't change Europe, if we don't put an end to this uh, uh, um, dictatorship of austerity, the, um, this uh, local experience of, 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 of radical democracy will be in danger. And that's why we are here, to bring the voice of all this municipal movement, of the movement of the rebel cities in, in Spain. Actually, I just, uh, when I, I was watching with friends the elections uh, of, of Barcelona, it, it was really like a, a, an amazing moment. Even, you know, here in Berlin, we were watching it and we were like, wow, it's impressive to see Ada Calao, you know, being the leader of the PA, who's, who, who, you know, who's given many, or who's given a big uh, hope, in fact, to the movement here in Berlin as well, which is, you know, trying to hold uh, many of these, uh, or talk about these questions. So. It was a, it's really a big hope indeed, <laughs> as you say, and uh, that goes oh, beyond an Spain, yes, it was of an course. Amazing, an amazing and, moment, uh, even, even no. for us. We were surprised. We, we knew that oh, we had been fighting social movements for many, many, many years, but we always found a sort of wall there, and so we decided to, to make this step to try to win the institutions for the people. And now that's a challenge we have. I mean, to see if you can, if you can change institutions, uh, in order to protect the, the commons, to protect the common good, and that's what we are trying. They told us that it was impossible, yes. but in, in eight months and with, with many difficulties, but we have shown that, that it was possible to, to stop evictions, that, we, that it was possible to stop the privatization of, of nursery schools, of health centers, that it was possible to promote a cooperative economy, uh, that it was possible to promote municipalization of water, and so it's not always easy because we have uh, many, many, many rules, many laws that, 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 that block this, this possibility, many European uh, uh, laws, but, but, but we are trying. And you, had, uh, you called for opening homes uh, to refugees, right? And uh, in fact, many people in, in Barcelona did it, but, but there you, I think you can see the limitations, right? To, exactly, to, uh, exactly. to in fact, maybe to, the, to, to, to municipal uh, politics, because if the, nation, if the national politics or even the European politics are going against that, which is the case, right? Yes. There isn't a Euro European solidarity on opening right, right. our we, borders. We have been involved in many movements uh, defending migrants' rights, uh, I myself, I'm, I'm, I'm from Latin America, I'm the first deputy mayor yes. from Latin America in, in Barcelona, so we, we saw these tragic images of people dying in the sea, those women, those children, those men. Uh, we were shocked and we were ashamed no, of, of, of this Europe, and so we decided to, to make a step, and we as city claimed no, the, 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 um, the, the right to open our cities to, to, to all the refugees because states were, were not doing their job, the European Union was not doing their job, mm -hmm. and so that's our message, that we also need a network of, of, of European cities, of European cities for refugees, of European cities against racism, against xenophobia, and that's very important now, no? in a moment where, where the extreme right is, is growing 
uh, all over the place. So that's so one of our main tasks. But and, and how are you going to approach that? I mean, because you you do you want to build a European city of a network of rebel cities? Have you um, ha, I mean, have you started that process? Are, does that network uh, already exist or uh, outside of Spain? Well, the problem having these, these rebel cities is that you have uh, 24 hours dedicated to, to resistance in, in, in a certain way and, and to construct a, a different a different everyday life for our for our neighbors. Uh, we have succeeded in Spain in a, in a certain way. We do have a sort of, of, of network of rebel cities you know, with, with Valencia, Madrid, Cadiz, Coruña, and now the challenge is to, to open it to other European cities and, and even to other Latin American cities and African cities also, you know, because it had to be not only a European network, but in a certain way an international network uh, based on, 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 on concrete topics and, and concrete things. How, how to deal with, with the refugee crisis, for instance, how to open our doors to all these people who are, who are running from, 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 from this tragedy, from hunger, from wars, uh, how to how to how to build up sustainable politics in, in transportation, for instance, how to deal with climate change, yeah. how to protect the commons such as water, energy, and, 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 and we are trying. We have some 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 relationship with, with Grenoble in France, with, with Naples in Italy. Uh, we think that, that democracy uh, was born in, in the cities, no? and, and so it will be in the cities where we have to, to recover it. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with that. But just as a, as a, as a to take a skeptical perspective, because I think um, I think it's true I, for me as well. It's a convincing starting point to start from the city, and and especially I mean, especially maybe from Barcelona, where you where you have this experience. But how? I mean, we we do experience a, a loss in trust in in political representation and in party politics. So how do you see that? Uh, regaining that trust from citizens is is more successful on a city level. Well, I mean, because the city level is closer to to, to the people, no? and and uh, representative politics are always a danger. You have always the danger of of delegate. You no, know? um, this danger is always there. But I think it is precisely in the local level where you can um, develop tools of, of participation, of direct democracy um, that can prevent this degradation that happens in, 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 in the larger scale, let's say. That's why we think that, that we need to change also in the global scale. We need another Europe. But if we really want to democratize Europe, we have to start from below. We have to start from the cities because it's there where you, you can have a democracy close you know, to the citizens. And, and, and we can prevent the risk of, of, of delegation and, and, and of the degradation of representation. Mm. Yeah, and, and in fact, uh, Slavomir Sierkowski was alluding to that creating common experiences, right? He said that this is what we need. We need to create common experiences of right. citizens or of non-citizens, in fact, to come together and you know, kind of see what it means to, to participate. Right, right, right. I think that's, that's indeed also maybe the challenge, right? What, why we are here today. I, just uh, so as a final question, um, because I think the difficulty, or at least it's what I experience often in my work with European alternatives, is in fact to really do that translation from the city or, or regional level to a transnational one. And I think so your proposal to me seems a conv is, is a very convincing one, and we, we would like to you know, be part of that, is uh, to build a network to start with of transnational, uh, transnational network of cities. But as you said, I think the important point is that uh, we also need to make sure that uh, in Europe we, we create a transnational um, well, community or collectivity, and that's and and I and I have often troubles in fact seeing that. I don't. I mean, I think you know we are <laughs> as much as we fight for it. I think we're still far far away <laughs> to some extent. So um, I don't know if you have a last comment on that point. How we can how we can work on that uh, translation between the the regional or the local and and the transnational in order to connect people, connect people there. Right, sometimes it's hard because we have to multiply ourselves. We have to intervene yeah. in so many scales. Mm -hmm. For instance, we, we're trying to, to, to change everyday life in our, in our city, but we have to intervene in the state level in, in, in Spain because if we don't intervene, we'll have all these rightist government which are always attacking local autonomy, which are always attacking public goods in the municipal level. And in the same way, we need to intervene in Europe. We need a constituent debate in Europe. We, we, we need to rethink all these rules of, of functioning 
in Europe because if we if we don't do it, well, we'll be too late. So we have no we have no no alternative. I mean, we we have to try. It. We have to intervene in, in in many levels. We have intervened in the local, in the European, and in the global level at the same time. And we have to involve uh, lots of people because if that's just uh, the, the work of a tiny minority of intellectuals uh, or of activists, that won't work. So we have to, to involve uh, social movements, we have to involve uh, common people, maybe people who have not uh, identified themselves as, as leftists, but who have uh, suffered all the effects of austerity policies and of, of crisis. And if we can uh, build this, this, this plural and broad network, I think we, we might succeed. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>